Hey guys, I'm Amir here and you are watching Electrical Infinity. In this video, I am going to explain you about the HVAC plan, practical explanation of HVAC plan of India's biggest mall. This mall is under construction and this is the HVAC plan of this mall as you can see here. The first thing which starts in a HVAC plant is cooling tower as you can see here these are the cooling towers and we have used 24 cooling tower each of 750TR as you can see here these are the inlet and outlet pipes of the cooling towers and I am going to explain you the working of cooling tower in details the hot water from the condenser comes to cooling tower and the water gets cool and it is again sent back to the condenser for cooling of condenser refrigerant as you can see here this is the cooling tower I am going to explain you about this plant in theoretical as well as practical. Before going with detailed explanation, first of all, I am going to explain you about the parts we are using in this HVAC plant. So we are using 5 chillers of 750TR. These are the chillers and we are using 5 chillers of 750TR. We are using 6 condenser pumps, each of 90 kW. So here you can see these are condenser pumps, 6 condenser pumps, each of 90 kW. Right? After that, we are using primary pump of 55 kilowatt each these are also six in after that we are using six secondary pumps each of 110 kilowatt these are the secondary pumps and these are of 110 kilowatt each okay also we are using 24 cooling towers each of 7.5 kilowatt i have drawn here five cooling tower only as there was no space left over here here you can see these are the six condenser pumps which are used for pumping the cool water from the cooling tower to condenser for cooling of refrigerant of condenser as you can see here this one is a big yellow pipe coming from the cooling tower this pipe carries a cool water from the cooling tower and with the help of this condenser pump a cool water is pumped into the condenser as you can see here we have used six condenser pump each pump and of 90 kilowatt for pumping of cool water from the cooling tower into the condenser these are the details of the motor motor plate as you can see here this one is a 90 kilowatt 12.5 hp 50 hertz motor before proceeding further let's learn about working of this part only here you can see we have condenser condenser pump and a cooling tower so red line means hot water and blue lines means cool water so as you can see here the cool water from the cooling tower is pumped into condenser with the help of condenser pump so here you can see the cool water from all these cooling towers enters this condenser pump and this water is pumped to the condenser as you can see here after the pumping of water cool water into the condenser the heat exchange takes place between the cool water and the condenser refrigerant after that the water gets heated up and the refrigerant gets cool and the heated water is again transferred to the cooling tower as you can see here again the hot water is cooled in the cooling tower and this cool water is transferred to condenser with the help of these condenser pumps this each pump is of 90 kilowatt and we have used six condenser pumps. This pump is coming from the output of the six condenser pump which carries a cool water from the output of six condenser pump. This cool water is from a cooling tower and it is sent to the condenser. As you can see here the yellow pump at the back side of the condenser here and it pumps the cool water into the condenser for cooling of condenser refrigerant. So we have used 5 condenser and chiller units. This one is a compact unit which contains 5 condenser, 5 chiller com and a compressor. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 chiller and condenser compact units. This one is a condenser, this one is a chiller and this one is a cooling tower here and a pump, a condenser pump for uh, uh, pumping of cool water into this condenser. And this one is a compressor and a motor. For compressing of refrigerant in the condenser so now let's begin the working of it the cool refrigerant from the condenser is present in the shell type so here you can see this one, this section is a shell type as you can see here this section is a shell type and here you can see this one is a tube and this one is a tube type so the refrigerant in condenser is present in the shell type and the water from the cooling tower is present in the tube type okay the cool water from the cooling tower is sent to this condenser pump and from this condenser pump the cool water is pumped into the condenser as you can see here so the cool water is present in the tube type and the refrigerant in the, of the condenser is present in the shell type as you can see here so there is a heat exchange take place between the refrigerant and the cool water so after the heat exchange take place the refrigerant gets cooled down and there will there will be a rise in temperature of the cool water after this cool water gets heated up 
it is again then transferred to the cooling tower for cooling of this water as you can see here this one is a red line and this means the hot water is transferred to this cooling tower for cooling of this hot water then again this water is cooled down and again it is uh, sent to this condenser pump and again the water cool water is sent to the condenser for the cooling of refrigerant coming to the chiller as you can see here the refrigerant is present in the tube type okay this refrigerant which was present in the shell type in the condenser it is now present in the tube type as you can see here the refrigerant is getting transferred from here and with the help of expansion valve to the tube type of the chiller okay and the water is present in the shell type of the chiller okay the water which is used for cooling of the entire building is present in the shell type of the chiller as you can see here the water in the chiller shell side gets cooled down due to the heat transfer between the uh, water in the chiller shell side and the refrigerant in the chiller tube side okay so the refrigerant after rise in temperature due to the heat transfer is sent back to the compressor as you can see here it is sent back to the compressor so the hot refrigerant is again sent back to the temperature after heat transfer the compressor again compresses the high temperature refrigerant and send it to the condenser and send it to the condenser as you can see here and send it to the condenser for cooling of refrigerant where heat exchange take place between the refrigerant and the cool water of the cooling tower so here you can see the heat exchange take place in the condenser between the refrigerant present in the shell type and the cooling water present in the tube type whereas in chiller the refrigerant is present in tube type and the cooling water of the entire building is present in the shell type so, so the heat exchange in the chiller takes place between the refrigerant in the tube type and the water in the shell type okay so here we have a primary pump after a condenser pump and these primary pumps are each of 55 kilowatt and we have used six primary pumps here for pumping of water hot water from the building and after proceeding further here you can see these are secondary pumps each of 110 kilowatt for pumping of cool water into the building as you can see here here you can see there are two pumps and the left pump which is coming out from the chiller it carries a cool water this pump sends a cool water from the chiller to the six secondary pumps so with the help of this is secondary pumps the cool water is circulated to the entire building for cooling of air of this building so this each pump is of 110 kilowatt the chill water from the chiller as you can see here is sent to the secondary pump of 110 kilowatt is here we are using six secondary pumps of 110 kilowatt from the secondary pump the water is circulated to the entire building for cooling so this is a seven floor building and after cooling of air of this building the water gets heated up and this high temperature water is again pumped back with the help of primary pump as you can see here with the help of primary pump and is again sent back to the chiller as you can see here so this high temperature water is pumped back with the help of this primary pump and sent back to the chiller for cooling as you can see here after cooling the air of the entire building the cool water gets heated up and this hot water is pumped back with the help of these six primary pumps of 55 kilowatt as you can see here the pump here and with the help of this pump the water is pumped back here you can see a big white color pump coming from the output of the six primary pumps and this carries a hot water and this hot water is sent back to the chiller for cooling as you can see here the right pump over here coming from the top and this carries a hot water this hot water is sent onto the chiller for cooling of this hot water so this is how the hvc plant works friends and thanks for watching this video guys hope you have liked this video share this video with your friends who are doing mechanical and electrical engineering thanks for watching this video friends if you want to learn electrical up to infinite hit the subscribe button